hello guys welcome to this video in this video we are gonna be looking at how to create an I am user assign a console login credential to the I am user and then also assign programmatic access to the I am user so let's say you just created your AWS account and you are just getting started using your AWS accounts the recommendation is that you don't use your root user frequently to perform day-to-day -day activity because for security reasons so what is recommended is that you create an i am user and grant the i am user administrative privilege so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do just that so log in with your root user navigate to i am you can just use the search feature i love it it's very easy to use Just wait for that to load then you go to users click on create users name your user admin any name you want i'm just giving admin user here provide user access to the AWS management console yes we want to do that i want to create an IAM user are you providing console access to a person specify a user identity center now we just want to create an I am user and you can actually auto generate a password or put in a custom password. I'm just going to do auto generate password in this case. If you want custom password, you, you just click on this checkbox here. All right. Then user must create a new password in the next sign in. Now this is recommended if you have a large organization and you want the users to change their password so you just create the user and you send the credentials to the user and you want them to change their password in the next sign in um, i'm going to uncheck this for now because this is just for my own personal use and for training purposes so next now the next thing to do is to assign permissions to the user you can actually assign um, permissions in various ways you can add a user to a group okay or you can copy permissions so you can actually copy permissions from you know from managed policies and inline policies from an existing users so if you have existing user in the account you can copy permission from that user and transfer those policies to this new user you're creating the third way is to attach policies directly so this is what we're going to do in this example we're going to attach an i am policy policies are basically what is used to control what a user can access in AWS account. So policies are a kind of access management mechanism used in AWS console. So this is what determines if a user can perform certain specific actions in AWS. So I'm going to assign administrative access policy to this user because I want this user to have admin access. I don't want to be using my root user frequently. I'm going to be using this user for my administrative functionalities. Again, you can play around the various policies that AWS has built in. So these are managed policies that AWS has built in. So you can go through these policies and then play around them to see which of them you want to assign to the user is based on the actions that you want the user to be able to perform. So if you want a user to only be able to have EC2 access, you can look for a policy relating to EC2, for example, and you can then grant EC2 full access. You know, so if you just want S3 policies as well, you can look for S3 permissions and you can grant S3 full access. So based on the functions, the actions that you want the user to be able to perform when they log into the AWS management console, you can then grant a policy that actually gives such permissions. Next. So we've selected three policies. Anyway, the administrative access actually covers the other two. I just wanted to show you that. So then we'll go to create user. Uh, I'm not going to add any tags for this one. So I'll just click create user. We have created our new AWS IAM user and the password has been generated for us. 
I'm going to download the CSV file there now and you can then send that to the user all right I'll hit cancel there before we go on to test this user's credentials let me show you how to create access keys and secret keys for this user so that the user can be able to programmatically call AWS APIs using the policies and the permissions that you've attached to the user. So we'll go to the security credentials tab. Now we already see the user have console access, but where we want to go to is access keys. We want to create access key for this user and we want the user to be able to use this access key using the command line interface so which is they're going to be able to use the aws cli so you basically it tells you you can create access keys for different purposes here you see you plan to use this access key to enable the aws cli to access your aws account that's definitely what i plan to use it for now again local code this is for security reasons it's not highly recommended that you embed access keys and secret access keys into your code so um, it's recommended that you use a secret management tool for that so what we want in this our example is to create an access key that we can use in our local machine using aws cli we just click i understand the above recommendation i want to proceed to create an access key then hit next. I'll say AWS CLI for the description. Then I'll click create access key. It has created my access key. I'm just gonna download the file again. I don't want to click show so I don't expose this access key to you guys. Then I'll hit done. Okay, now we've created our i am user we've created a console user name and password then we've also created access keys that we can use for programmatic access as you can see the access key is this that's the access key id and the status is it is active you can actually deactivate this access key if you no longer want to use it and then delete it if you want to next up let's go and try to log into the console using this i am user that we just created i'll log out as the root user sign out then i will go click on sign in now i want to sign in as an i am user so it's going to ask me for the account id or account alias. So I'll just get the account ID. And the I am user is admin user. I'll copy the password from the CSV file I downloaded. Sign in. I don't want to save it. So we've just signed in using the credentials of the I am user we created and we can perform actions using the policies that has been attached to the I am user. So we can go to EC2 and see the instances that we have, if we have any instances or we can go and create a new instance if we want, we can launch one instance if we want to. command line interface is an open source tool that enables you to interact with AWS services using commands in your command line interface from your local machine. So basically it allows you to talk to AWS APIs the same way when you log into the console and you click on buttons you are calling APIs on the back end with the command line so you will be able to call AWS APIs and be able to then perform actions in your AWS account. And I'm going to be showing you how to configure the AWS CLI 
using the IAM credentials we created earlier. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that you have the tool installed in your machine. To do this, navigate to the install and update page as shown on the screen. You can select which of the type of OS you have. If you have Mac OS, you go for Mac OS. If you have Linux, you can go for Linux. If you have Windows, then you should click on Windows to follow the instructions. I have Mac OS, I'll just click on Mac OS. And you have different options here as well. You can use the GUI installer or use the command line installer. I prefer the command line installer. So I've used the command line installer already. Uh, they want to keep you on the screen while running this. So go ahead to run the instructions in this documentation. And then when you're done installing the AWS CLI tool, we can continue the configuration. After installing the AWS CLI tool, the next step you would like to do is to give it the permission it requires to be able to call AWS APIs in your account. And there are various ways that you can do this. You can do this using the command line option. This is what we're going to be doing in this video. And there are several other ways. You can go to this documentation, configure the AWS CLI to take a read at the several other methods that you can use to configure permissions for your AWS CLI too. Now let's configure this using the command line option. To do this, we'll go back to our terminal. We'll type AWS configure. It's gonna ask you for the access key. Remember, this is the access key ID that was generated for us when we created an access key and a secret access key for the IAM user we created earlier on. I will just go and copy this access key and paste it here. The next thing it's asking for is the secret access key. I'll copy that as well to paste it. I've copied the secret access key and I'm going to paste it here. Never mind, I'm going to be deleting this access key details after this recording. Next, it's asking you for what region. I'm going to specify US. East one. What default outputs? I'll leave that as none. We've successfully configured our AWS CLI to be able to call AWS APIs in our accounts. Now that we've configured credential for AWS CLI. Let's run a test to just make sure that we can actually call AWS APIs and see details in our AWS account. Let's run a basic IAM command. AWS IAM list roles. So we just want to list all the roles in our AWS account. So it's working. It returns the details of the IAM roles in our AWS account.